Hey guys, welcome to the uh, to the channel. I apologize, it's been a long time since my last video. Uh, I haven't bought anything new, so I haven't done a review or a comparison, but I do have some great, exciting news to share with you today. I want to present the final uh, Seiko nickname custom NATO strap that I've been working on with you guys. Um, I, I recently submitted it to Risk Candy Watch Club. A prototype is being produced right now and uh, the production version will shortly follow after um, any kinks are, are, are worked out in the prototype version. So uh, <laughs> I'm really excited. It turned out awesome. It really did. And so I want to I want to say a very sincere thank you. I, I asked for your guys' input on which nickname which nicknames for the NATO to include, and um, a lot, so many of you guys responded. I was blown away at how many people uh, responded to the video, so thank you. And not only did you say which nicknames you wanted included, but you also gave design ideas and, and, and uh, encouragement, and I thank you guys. I really, uh, really appreciate that. So let me share with you the five nicknames that made the cut. And then as I talk about each one, I'm going to put a picture on the screen of the final artistic design that we of the of the nickname. And then after I after I do the the five that are included, I'll show you how it all came together on the strap and let me tell you it is awesome. I'm so excited. So, okay, all right. So, in the voting, number 1 was the Sumo. So many people voted for the Sumo. And this this is the design, right? You can see uh, this is a classic sumo wrestler, and the, the design, the nickname is very, um, it's almost a little aggressive, it's artistic, and uh, you'll see all these images, they really work well with each other. They're a little bit more abstract, they're a little bit more aggressive, and uh, tonally, they just, <laughs> they just look great. So, so this is the sumo, this is what's going to be included on the NATO strap here. Coming in at number two, uh, slim margin, but the monster. So many people voted for the monster. And traditionally, you know, the second generation Seiko monster, the SRP, you know, uh, reference number, the indices on the watch kind of look like shark teeth. And so for the longest time, I thought it would be some sort of shark with teeth being represented, but uh, going back to Japanese culture, the kaiju, the beast, it's Japanese for strange beast. That had to be the representation of, of a monster. Because you know? we've had several generations of Seiko monsters. So this is the nickname for the monster. We have a kaiju beast right here. Very, very cool. All right, number three, coming in number three, was the turtle. This is a, a very recent release. I actually have one. This is my turtle. I can't wait to wear this nickname NATO with my my turtle. But this is this is the design for the turtle. Or again, a little bit aggressive, very artistic, plays in well with the others. Uh, number four in the voting was the tuna. Now this is the design for the tuna. You can see <clears throat> I wasn't sure whether to go with the tuna fish or a tuna can because the watch kind of looks like a can of tuna. You know, it's very circular. Uh, kind of like a hockey puck, but uh, most people commented they'd like to see the tuna fish. So this is what we did. We have two tuna fish uh, swimming around each other, kind of forming a circle, and uh, <laughs> kind of in the shape of a can. I really, really like how this turned out. Again, I mean, if you look close, you can even kind of see a yin yang in there, very balanced. Uh, so yeah, very, very cool. All right, and then the last nickname that was included, I mean, I wanted to include more a lot of you guys vote of some like uh, like the cocktail I really wanted to include, but I'm staying true to my word. The top five nicknames. The last one is the Shogun or the Samurai. You can see, you know, the classic traditional armor with the with the katan with the sword and the helmet. Every I mean, it just looks awesome. So I had to put this one on. You'll see it, this represented twice on the strap. It just uh, it just looks great. We did two designs for the Shogun, and uh, they just looked so good, I had to put them on twice. And it worked out with the length of the strap and everything. All right, so these are the images that, that, that uh, represent the watches. These are the nicknames. This is, this is what's gonna be on the strap. 
and to place them on the NATO, I took a picture of, of Japan. You can see the mountains, you can see the sky, you can see how it all kind of uh, blends together. And I took this image and in Photoshop, I, I put some filters through it, I played with it, I adjusted it, and I came up with a great base material or base image to place these, nickname, these uh, nicknames on. So that's where, uh, that's where it comes from. Everything on this NATO strap is related to Japanese culture. It is related to Seiko at its roots, at the, <laughs> at the very, you know, very heart of it all. And I really like that. I think it adds strength to the design. So this is the final design. We have the nicknames laid in a very linear fashion along this, uh, along this NATO strap, kind of like Japanese characters. You know, they're very linear, very organized, very readable and legible. And that was the idea is to, is to relate that onto the, onto the NATO strap. So the problem was it looks so great in a number of different color options. So I came up with three versions and I put it to a vote on Facebook. I'm a part of a couple Facebook groups, um, the Urban Gentry Watch Club, the Gentleman's Club, Modern Day Watch Enthusiast. Uh, I'm part of like five different watch groups. Um, so on Facebook, I, I asked you guys for your input and so many of you um, voted for all of them. <laughs> so, I, so anyways, um, I've got three versions to show you here. Right, the black version, this is the neutral tone version. We've got, you know, in black, gray, and white, it just looks really bold, really cool. Probably, you know, the most compatible with different colors of watches, dials. Uh, anyway, so there's the black one. The black one looks su superb. And then I, I got some great suggestions from, from you guys, my fellow watch fans. Uh, one of them was from Stig Hansen. And he suggested using uh, blood red, uh, like the Japanese red on a flag, you know, the rising sun. And he also suggested using uh, green, Midori green, which is a Japanese, uh, famous Japanese color. So, so these are the two versions using that great advice. So thank you, uh, Stig Hansen, for, for that contribution. Really, really cool. So this is the red version, you know, the blood red rising sun. It's so bold. It looks so cool. I could see that on my Marine Master. Um, a lot of you guys voted for that one. And then the last one is Midori Green, this uh, really unique green color. And I'll tell you what, by the slimmest of margins, most people voted for the green one. So that is the version that we're going to be producing. And let me, let me talk about it now. Uh, the, the Midori green. All right, so you'll notice comparing the green to the red and the neutral, you can see the nicknames much clearer on the green, just with how uh, the colors go and how they're, they're oriented. The nicknames are more legible, so that's a big reason. Uh, but two, this is the cool, this is what I think is awesome. Okay, the green version, we all know Seiko does the very best loom. Luma bright, there's nothing brighter, there's nothing long lasting. As far as applied loom, Luma bright's the best. Seiko does the best loom. So, <laughs> the green from the Midori green color, uh, the, the NATO strap, is gonna tie in perfectly with Seiko's loom. Now, uh, here's my Marine Master. This thing glows like a torch. And that green hue from the loom is just going to tie in so very well with that Seiko nickname. And again, that's reinforcing Seiko on all levels. We've got the best Seiko loom, uh, you know, paired with the special Seiko nickname NATO, fan-driven. Everything's related to Japanese culture. It all ties in so well. I think this is a strong design. I, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. And I can't wait to see it in the flesh. I can't wait to get my hands on the prototype. I think it's gonna look awesome. So, so that's that's the big thing. You know, you got a Seiko SKX, you have a Monster, a Sumo, you have any Seiko with that awesome loom, this nickname NATO is gonna look sweet. That's gonna be such a cool combination. It's gonna be so much fun to wear this summer. Um, ah, gosh, I'm excited. And I have a few Seiko divers. You know, I showed you my turtle, I've showed you my Marine Master, I have my SKX009 back there on my, uh, with my stuff. I'm not just gonna wear this nickname with my turtle. I, I think because it's so related to, you know, 
the most popular Seiko watches, Japanese culture, I would wear this with any Seiko watch. I think this is this would look awesome on my SKX. It would look awesome on the Sea Urchin, the 55 Fathoms. You know, it, it would look great on a number of pretty much any Seiko watch. It's going to look awesome. It's going to be this cool, special, unique thing that's artistic, and that's eye-catching, and you know what? It relates on so many levels with the watch that you're wearing with the Seiko. So. So I'm I'm just uh, I'm thrilled with how it came together. I really want to just thank you for your 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 input, for your encouragement, your kind words. Uh, really, it wouldn't this design would not look this good if it was just me working on it. If I picked the nicknames, if I did you know everything about it, I think this uh, really kind of came together on its own uh, with us in the watch community as Seiko fans, as NATO fans, just as it's just as watch fans and fellow enthusiasts. So I'm really excited. Thank you very much. Uh, so that's the news. This is what we pr we submitted for production. And uh, a prototype is being drawn up right now, is being produced right now. So we're looking um, four to six weeks for production. So hopefully, hopefully June will be ready uh, and you can get your Seiko nickname NATO and just wear it with, with your Seiko watches. I, oh gosh, I can't wait. So I will do update videos as I get more information as if I get in the prototype, I will show you guys. I will keep you apprised of all the developments. I think it's just gonna turn out, you know, better than I ever anticipated. So I'm just, I'm really excited to share this with you. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm so excited. I can't wait to, to get this, uh, to get this in my hand. So uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.